All right, so today we're gonna be talking about my current favorite pamper products, just things that are fun to put on, make you feel good. We have some teeth whitening, beauty products, fragrance, hair stuff, snacks, food, gotta have my food. This feels so weird because I'm clearly in a different spot. I'm gonna try and film a couple videos in natural lighting and see how it goes. The difficult part about filming in natural lighting, we're going on a whole rant right now, but the difficult part is that it's super unpredictable. Like even in the span of filming this video, I'm probably gonna have to change the temperature and ISO about 10 times just because clouds move and things. So that's why most people don't film in natural lighting. But anyways, you probably don't care about that. Let's get into talking about some pamper products. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Wearing a shirt that blends into the background maybe wasn't my best idea today, but we are here, it's happening. Okay, I have so many things that I'm so excited to talk about. I'm gonna start off with something that I thought was gonna be just like kind of gimmicky whatever, but it actually works. This is the Bubble Bubble Lip Mask. So I got this off of Yes Style, it's a Korean product, and basically it has a little pump. Pump this out, put on your lip, and then it starts to kind of like foam up and bubble up. It looks wild, and I just leave it on for like a few minutes and then rinse it off, and my lips are so much softer than I've ever found with any other like exfoliating mask, any other lip masks. This thing actually works. I feel like it does remove some of like the dead skin on your lips or just like chapped, chappedness. Chap, that's not a word. Leaves your lips feeling just super soft and it's very effective. And this is a few bucks on Yes Style, so you can't go wrong with that. Face masks for me are definitely a part of my like self care routine or whatever you want to call it. But I'm not going to be talking about any face masks today because I did a whole IGTV video recently talking all about my favorites. So you can go watch that if you want to know. Okay, so for me, even if I'm just staying inside, I almost always wear perfume because it's one of those things that for me just really makes me feel put together. I'll even put it on sometimes when I get out of the shower, even if I'm just like going to bed. There's something about it. It just makes me feel in a mood, okay? So I'm going to share some of my current favorite perfumes because recently I've discovered some new winners that I am obsessed with. So I wanted to say thank you to fragrance.com for supporting my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I got these perfumes way marked down, way discounted. They're basically authentic perfumes that are highly discounted, like up to 80% off, depending on which one and everything. They also do some really good sales. And I do have a discount code for you guys. If you want to check it out, the code is Taylor. You can get 30% off your order, which is amazing. So on top of the already discounted prices, you can get an additional 30% off, but they are authentic perfumes. Since they don't have physical store locations, they're able to kind of cut down their costs. They do have Afterpay on their site, which I know a lot of people love because you can break down your order into four different payments with zero interest. So you're not gonna have any debt or interest or anything like that. Afterpay just lets you split it up so that you're not paying everything up front. So a while ago on Twitter, I posted about how I got this sample, this perfume, and it smelled exactly like Jordan. Like there's a very specific scent memory that I have with my time living in Jordan. And it's a mix of like men's cologne, cigarettes, and just Jordan. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a very specific scent. And this fragrance to a T is Jordan for me. It's a unisex fragrance, Versace Eros Flame. I don't know if it's technically unisex. They do have perfumes and clones on fragrance.com. I like really musky, ambery scents. And this to me smells like that but with a little bit of a flare and a little bit more of like a cologne masculine kind of scent to it. I always think it's so interesting how women usually like the smell of cologne better, but we wear perfume. Isn't that weird? Like, why don't we just wear what we like smelling? I mean, we do. Does anyone else get what I'm saying? <laughs> wear what you want is the moral of the story here. And next up is a perfume that I bought solely off of the reviews. I was kind of looking to see, usually I'll look at like the notes and then also the reviews. This is a perfume, not a shoe. Well, it is both. This is Good Girl by Carolyn Herrera. I got it in the set, so I have like the lotion too. And this so pleasantly surprised me. I purposely didn't put on perfume yet because I want to spray this and be reminded. Press it on the back right here, which is such a unique bottle. So the reviews for this one that really caught my eye was like, this is a head turner perfume. And for me, that's Alien by Terry Mugler, I think is how you say it. Alien is a head turner. That one is one of the few perfumes I'll wear that I'll always get asked what I'm wearing when I wear it. And that's what people were saying about this perfume. It's like a very musky, but very sweet smelling perfume. It says the main notes of this one are roasted tonka bean and tuberose. I have zero idea what either of those things are. Sensual and evocative. Yeah, it does smell very sensual, but not to the point where I would only wear it at night. Like I do think this is a nice 
just all day one as well because it is a little bit more on the sweet side. So those are my new favorite perfume discoveries. Again, the code Taylor will get you 30% off at checkout. All right, next up, let's talk about teeth whitening, which is one of my most asked questions. I actually went down this like hole of watching my a couple of my old videos last night and I feel like my teeth looked so much whiter back then. So I think I do need to repurchase the Colgate mouthwash. I'll link that one down below because that I feel like makes such a difference. But as far as teeth whitening products, this has been my go-to for a couple years now. It's the Crest 3D White No Slip. I love the no slip ones because you can just put them on, do your thing, take them off. They're super easy because there's no trays or anything involved. You literally just peel off the backing. You get 44 strips in here, but I actually cut them in half. So a kit of this lasts for forever. I just kind of use it whenever I feel like my teeth need whitening. They definitely need some whitening right now. I haven't done it in maybe like a month or so. My toothpaste is also whitening, which really helps. But the way I get double the uses out of them is I cut them in half horizontally. Why is that whole power line moving right now? Anyways, on each strip, there's two different things, one for the top, one for the bottom. I cut one, either the top or bottom, whatever's left over. I cut it in half horizontally, and then that's what I'll use on the top and the bottom. I also use the Sensodyne toothpaste right after I whiten so that it helps with any sensitivity. So that really helps if you also get that. It does actually do something if you use it after whitening. So I just find these to be very effective. I get questions all the time about how I whiten my teeth. It's these, the Colgate Optic White toothpaste and the Colgate Optic White mouthwash are like my go-tos. I also love Crest 3D White toothpaste. I kind of just like switch between them all, but those are kind of like my three go-to products. Next, let's talk about a hair mask that I discovered that is so affordable. This is around five bucks on Walmart. It's the Herbal Essence Coconut Milk and Aloe, and the scent of this just reminds me of summers growing up in San Diego. Like it smells like the beach to me. I remember my best friend growing up used to have Herbal Essence coconut shampoo and conditioner. So whenever we'd go to the beach and then like shower at her house, I would use those. So it just has like good summery vibes to me. It smells so good and it does kind of smell like, um, it smells like coconut mixed with like gummy worms. So when I use this, I usually don't use it as a hair mask. I just kind of use it in place of a conditioner. So I'll leave it on for like a few minutes while I'm shaving or whatever. My hair desperately needs to be cut because uh, quarantine, but I think I'm actually gonna do it myself maybe this week. <laughs> I've done it a couple times myself and it seems to have turned out fine. This one, this haircut I actually got done in a salon and I do not like how it turned out at all. So I'm just gonna do it myself. But it leaves my hair feeling so soft and it smells good and it's just a good affordable hair mask. Okay, next up, let's talk about magnesium flakes. So these are for the bath. They're 100% pure magnesium flakes and they're just like the concentrated version. So basically magnesium relaxes your muscles. This is my favorite Epsom salt one. It smells so good. It's eucalyptus spearmint and it just smells heavenly and it like smells up your whole bathroom. Lately I'll use these at the same time. So I'll just put in like a cup of this and a cup of this. I don't actually measure it. I just pour things until it looks like a cup to me. And I feel like the combo of those two has been working the best for me as far as just my body. When I posted these on Instagram stories, I got a lot of questions about what these are and why I use them in the bath. So they're basically just supposed to be more effective than Epsom salt for like deep muscle relaxing. This giant tub you can get on Amazon. I wanna say it was around like 10 bucks or so. Okay, so I've been on the hunt for so long for a terry cloth white robe that isn't too heavy and too big. I'm 4'11", so whenever I go into a hotel and they have those robes, like it's literally <laughs> dragging on the ground and they're always just so heavy and like bulky looking and I feel like I can't move when I'm in them. So I've been wanting a rope that looks like that but that's like more fitted and lightweight and that's exactly what this guy is. I got this from Walmart online. It is so lightweight. I love the way it feels. It's very soft and I like that the arms are kind of cropped. Like the arms aren't too long so that you can actually do things in it and it's just a nice very affordable robe too. This was under 20 bucks. I think it was actually like 15. Sometimes when I get out of the shower I'm just not in the mood to put on like tight clothes so I just want to kind of chill in a robe and having a robe like this can also be really relaxing if you are doing kind of a more pamper night and you're going to be doing like a face mask or putting on some body oil and whatnot maybe doing some teeth whitening whatever relaxes you had taking a bath you know the whole shebang then I just feel like a robe is a nice way to kind of end it off without like full on getting dressed after. All right, next up is this, which basically just looks like a black piece of fabric with a little uh, thing here, but this is called the Perfect Hair Care. Is that what it's actually called? I got this off Amazon because of the court report. She has super curly hair. I do not have as curly of hair as her naturally, but I'm trying to wear my hair more wavy, more regularly, and I'm trying to just like nail down the routine. Once I have something that really works, I will make a video on it, but I've talked about it in a recent vlog if you wanna know what I'm currently using. 
But as you can see, even when I straighten my hair, my hair just gets frizzy. I have like oils in it right now. I have everything. It just gets frizzy. It's my hair. It's especially frizzy in Seattle for some reason. When I go back to San Diego, you'd think it'd be the opposite. My hair is so much less frizzy there. Don't know what it is. I mean, it's probably science, but if you're trying to wear your hair natural, wavy, curly, and you use a normal towel that adds apparently a ton of frizz, so this is like what you're supposed to use, something like this that doesn't. It's a different material. It's like very soft and kind of silky. So this just cuts down the frizz and they show on their Amazon page how to tie it with this in different ways so that you can you know, have it on your hair. You could sleep in it if you wanted to. I normally will sleep on my hair damp and then wake up and style it just to reduce the amount of heat I have to use. So I've even been starting to use this just if I'm wearing my hair like more straight like this, just to try and help with the frizz. Oh, also it came with this brush, which was kind of cool. It's a detangling hairbrush. So obviously I haven't tried it yet, but for 20 bucks, it came with a brush and the towel, which is nice. Oh man, sneezing with false lashes on is the worst. All right, what is next? We have a hand cream, which is probably shocking for you if you have ever heard me say I hate hand cream, but this is from Yes Style. It's their Benton Shea Butter and Coconut Hand Cream, and I picked this up because it got really good reviews. My thing with hand creams and why I usually don't use them or like them is that I cannot stand the feeling of something on my hands. Even if I'm like eating chips or something and there's like, you know, the food stuff crumbs on your hands, I can't stand that. I have to go like wash my hands right away. So the feeling of hand cream, especially if I'm trying to like do stuff on the computer or something throughout the day, it just drives me crazy because it's usually like very oily and then it like transfers on stuff and then I'm touching my hair and getting, you know, you get it. But this one I love because it dries down so quickly but is still very thick. And the only downside for me with this is the scent. I love coconut as you can tell from the scents we have here, but this smells like actual legit coconut, like natural coconut, which there's a difference between coconut scented things and then like natural coconut, coconut water. Like this smells like coconut water. Oh, it smells so gross to me, but the scent disappears almost immediately anyway, so I don't really care. And because it's effective, I still am gonna use it and like using it. it has 3% coconut oil and 20% shea butter. At first it kind of feels like, okay, it is gonna be too, thick, but then it absorbs into your skin and just leaves a really soft kind of feeling. And especially with using hand sanitizer so much lately, that's the main reason why I picked this up is because my hands were just getting dry and this helps so quickly with just making my hands more moisturized. So absolutely love this. And I think this was around three or four bucks. All right, next up is something that I picked up off recommendation from my friend Mallory. This is the Now Solutions Grape Seed Oil. And I got this because she said that it makes herself tanner stay on longer. And initially I actually messaged her and I was like, are you sure? <laughs> Cause like oil breaks down self tanner and apparently grapeseed oil does not. I haven't tried it yet with self tanner to see if it does prolong my self tanner. But what I really like this for is just applying after the shower at night as like a lotion or before I put on body lotion. I've been really trying to be better about putting on body lotion every single night. So far, I would say I'm doing it like four nights a week, which is a major step up. In the past, I would do like maybe once every couple weeks, like when I remember. I've been really trying to be better about it, especially like on my chest area, just for anti-aging and keeping everything moisturized and all that jazz. But this I love because it's not one of those oils that like transfers all over the place and that you have to worry about getting on your sheets and stuff. It absorbs into your skin and it leaves this like very moisturized, but not sticky, not oily feel to it. I just got the small bottle because I wanted to make sure I liked this before I purchased the big size bottle from them. This is the same brand that makes the magnesium flakes I mentioned earlier, but this bottle was around four bucks. I also love that it doesn't have a scent. So if you're using a body lotion that's scented, this isn't gonna like interfere with that scent. And also you could put it on in the morning if you're a shower and still get dressed. And because it absorbs into your skin, it's not gonna like transfer onto your clothes. And last thing before we get into snacks, which is what I am very excited to talk about, quarantine snacks. <laughs> I wanted to mention the self tanner again because I just do feel like when I put on self tanner, it makes me feel more confident on my legs. Like I've normally only been putting this on my legs because there's some weird thing with, if you're working out and your legs are a little bit more tanned, I feel like you can see like the muscle definition more. And so I feel like because I've been doing the Chloe Ting stuff, if my legs are tanned, in my head, I feel like I'm making more progress. It's a weird thing, but it works. So I'm like, whatever, if it's making me continue to do it, I'm gonna do it. But my favorite self tanner has been the Bondi Sands Arrow Ultra Dark 
foam. I talked about this in my April, was it April? April Raisin Rejects, more in depth for like <laughs> four minutes. So if you wanna know all my thoughts on this, you can check out that video. But basically it's just the most beautiful, even color, doesn't streak, doesn't fade weird the best self tanner I found so far and I am totally in love. You can get this on sale. Some people are getting on sale at Walgreens for like 15 bucks. Okay, so let's talk about some of my current favorite quarantine snacks because I've found some <laughs> gems as far as food goes and they're fairly healthy besides one. By the way, <laughs> I'm including snacks because for me, snacks and food are a form of self care. They just are. I love good food. Food is a big part of my life. I have a food Instagram account that is currently on hold because I haven't been to a restaurant. <laughs> I've gone really into shopping on Thrive Market, not sponsored by Thrive Market, but basically they just have reviews, which I like because not a lot of food has reviews, you know? So it's kind of nice to be able to see what people say about certain snacks and they're also like marked down. These Vienna chickpea barbecue snacks, so good. These are super crunchy chickpeas that are flavored barbecue. They have five grams of protein in a serving and it basically is a good chip substitute because they are chickpeas, so a little bit healthier. I've tried a few different flavors of these. My favorite was one that I haven't been able to find again. I actually think I got them in an airport, like whenever I was last in an airport, four months ago or something. I wanna say they were like jalapeno something. I'm gonna insert a picture if I can find the exact one. Those are like my top recommendation, but the barbecue ones are also so freaking good. And you can get these at Fred Meyer and stuff too. Wisps, these are amazing. The Asiago and Pepper Jack ones aren't actually my favorite. My favorite are just the normal Parmesan ones, but I tried these. I've purchased these maybe like four times from Thrive Market, but I think you can also find these at Safeway. You can definitely get them at Costco. And the Parmesan ones are amazing. They're basically just cheese. Like all they are are cheese. And they're these crispy little crackers. These have 12 grams of protein. They look like this. They're just little cheese circles. So they're basically like chips that are pure cheese. Parmesan ones are the way to go. These ones are good. I just don't like the flavor quite as much as the other ones. And they're also very low in carb, one gram carb. So if you're keto or whatever, these would probably be good and they're gluten-free. All it is basically is cheese, milk, and salt. All right, let's talk about something that is definitely not healthy at all, but that I've been loving. Pop-Tart Bites, specifically the frosted confetti cake flavor. The thing I like about these is that a pack of these are 150 calories, but you get the cake craving out of the way because these literally taste like confetti cake in Pop-Tart form. The bites are like this big and then it has, I mean, it's a Pop-Tart, so they're just in bite form. You, you get it? I think you can all grasp that concept. Cake and cupcakes are like my dessert of choice. If I could have cake every day, I would. So for only 150 calories, if I'm just like having this as a dessert at night, it's not that bad relative to eating a whole piece of cake, you know? And they are very sweet. So sometimes I'll even have like half the pack of these and I'll be satisfied. The only thing is because they're in bite form, you can't put them in a toaster like you can with normal Pop-Tarts. Comment down below, do you normally eat them cold or are you like hot? Pop-Tart kind of gal or guy. Okay, and then last snack, these are so bomb. These are the Thrive Market brand, so obviously you can only get these on Thrive Market. Grain-free barbecue flavored puffs. Oh my God. The reason why I like these is that these actually have like a density to them. They're not like an airy puff, which normally I don't like because I kind of just feel like I'm eating air. They're made out of cassava flour and beans. So they're gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, grain-free. They're not super high in protein or anything, but because they're so dense, I feel like they're pretty filling. My go-to snack combo lately has been a handful of these with olives specifically. Ooh, that could be even a favorite in here. The Castel, Castel, what are they called? I'm gonna pop in a photo. It's a very specific type of green olive I've discovered that are the best. They're the superior green olive, okay? If you like green olives, you got to try these kinds. There's something about the taste of these. Those olives with this, with the sparkling water, like a bubbly is my way to go. All right, so those are all of my current favorite self-care pamper products, whatever makes me feel good right now. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box. Again, you can check out fragrance.com and get 30% off with the code Taylor if you want to. Let me know your favorite fragrances down below, if especially if you tend to like similar ones to me. I am always on the hunt for a good new perfume. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.